This is gonna make some people really uncomfortable and I'm totally here for it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Devin, I'm a small town girl with big town hair and I like to travel. We're gonna talk about being black while traveling. This is not to say that all places like this, all people's experience like this, or this is how everything is. I'm just giving you my experience. If you're one of those people who's like, oh my God, we need to stop talking about it. Like, that doesn't exist, there's no difference. But I have several seats you can have, and you can watch this video. This video is meant to inform, not to incite, so don't get mad, just take it in and become better people. Cool. These are the five things that happen when traveling while black. Number one, someone will uninvitedly pet you or touch you. People rubbing my skin to see if it like would come off, or people touching my hair and saying things like, oh my god, it's so soft. It's like, oh my god, your hands are in my hair. What are you doing? You know what? Southeast Asia gets a really bad rep for this. This happened to me in Spanish speaking countries, Europe. It's happened all over. So don't just put rest it on like, well, Southeast Asia is just this weird class of people who rub people. It happens all over the world. Can you back up? Give me five paces. I don't want you touching my stuff. Second thing that will happen is you will be compared to a black celebrity that you don't resemble in any way, shape, or form. True story. I got a call for an interview for a job and the guy said to me, The staff is just really excited to be working with someone who looks so much like Michelle Obama. Oh, so you went with someone else? Oh, I look like Michelle Obama. No, no, I've never gotten that before. I will take Michelle Obama, Gabrielle Union, and Rihanna any day. However, comma, I don't look like them. The only thing we have in common is that we're all black. The third thing that's gonna happen is you will be asked to identify the specific tribal heritage that your family comes from in Africa. No matter how many times you tell people you're from the United States, they will wonder what part of Africa are you from. And that conversation ends up looking a little bit like this. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Virginia in the United States. Where are you from? Richmond, Virginia. It's like the capital of the of Virginia. But where are you from? Um, Mechanicsville? It's like a really small like city in a county outside of Richmond, Virginia. But where are you from? Like where are your people from? What tribe are you from? I, I don't. I'm American. I mean, aside, apart from going into the slave trade, I don't even know how to address that. I just keep saying the same answer. The fourth thing is you will, at one point or another, be the black ambassador. Congratulations to you, my friend. You are the voice of blackness. So Devin, I have a question. Um, why can't black people swim? So how come you guys can say the N-word and I can't say the N-word? Like, what does it actually mean, black lives matter? I think all lives matter. You have to explain a very complex and deep and vast historical issue with a very succinct answer that is multifaceted and addresses the billions of people that are black. Congratulations. You're the black ambassador. The fifth and final thing that will happen and is extremely dodgy is that someone will say the n-word around you and or someone will call you the n-word affectionately or offensively and you can't get mad. You have to explain to them in a nice, calm, educated way why that word's a little bit offensive and maybe they shouldn't use it or why it's a word that you specifically don't want to hear when you're around somebody. It's what happens. Adversely, all of this is why you travel because now we're living in a time where people, black people, people of color are traveling so much more than they used to. Hopefully, one day, we will live in a world where black people are just as frequent flyers as every other race. And that's the world that I'm waiting for. So I'll go take my flight, I'll go do my part, but spread the love, peace. Please leave a comment below. Tell me about your experience. Tell me how you deal with being a minority, a brown person, or other traveling around the world. Please tell me how you address some of the things that has happened to you, if they've happened at all. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Bye.